God's evening people. So, hopefully everyone had a chance to enjoy this beautiful Saturday. Um, well, it was beautiful here in the D.C. area. Um, I was able to get out on the bike for just a brief moment and uh, went to a motorcycle blessing, a bike blessing, uh, which is something that I always enjoy doing because um, we already know that, you know, there's dangers involved with riding a motorcycle. Um, and, you know, I like to have that prayer over my, my riding season and over my motorcycle and over the mechanics of the motorcycle and over me um, to start my riding season off. Um, additionally, I say a prayer every time I get on the bike, so I, I add a, another bike blessing every time I'm getting ready to ride. Um, but uh, the point of the matter is to be prepared for what's to come. Uh, be proactive about the, the measures that you take to be prepared for what's to come. So. When I mean being proactive, if let's say um, I'm out riding and I have an accident and then I say my prayer, but a prayer is a little late and it's really not going to help me much at that point because I've already had the accident. Um, but if I say my prayer beforehand and I'm proactive about it, um, I personally believe that has stopped a lot of the bad things that could happen to me on a motorcycle um, and I've been in some situations where uh, I believe that my prayer has saved me um, and I've been in some situations where I did have an accident and I did not say my prayer so you know, call it what you want I'm a firm believer in it um, I call it proactive proactive measures proactive prevention um, so, equating that to our progress and goals, um, be proactive about your planning, be proactive about your thought process, be proactive about the things that you're going to deliberately do in order to meet your goals. Um, know what you want to do, know how, you, how you're going to do it, know what you need to get it done, and then execute your plan. Um, if you go in and just wing it, there's a small percentage that you might succeed, but there's a bigger chance that you'll fail. Um, fitness, for example, you know, I was just thinking a moment ago, you know, I've been working out in the gym for God knows how many years, um, probably since I was in the seventh grade. But right now, the shape and the, the appearance of my body is much better than it's ever been in my entire life. And that's because I've changed some things instead of just going in without a plan and without, you know, knowing what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it and things I need to get it done. Um, I've changed and I've started planning things. So now I've got a workout plan and I've got a meal plan. And those plans are what keep me on track and help me continue to succeed in, in, in the goals that I'm on setting out to achieve. So, get your plans together, people. You, you, today is Saturday. Enjoy your Saturday. Tomorrow Sunday. Relax. Write out your plans for that next week or the next two weeks or the next three or four weeks or whatever the case may be and stick to the plan. It's May 1st. It's a beautiful day. It's a wonderful day. It's an amazing day. Y'all have a blessed day. Make progress. Not excuses.